Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paste Markdown into a Google Doc. So at work, I've been using a lot of OpenAI, which includes, uh, well, actually chatbot app.ai, which includes OpenAI, GPT, and so on. You can get uh, DeepSeek, so on, and so forth, Claude, Google Gemini, all that stuff. And the output is typically in Markdown form. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to um, ask it to uh, give me some data uh, in table form that can be used for students in Algebra 1 to create linear functions. So let's start with that. So I'm going to prompt that. And it's going to take a moment and you'll see it looks all nice here but i don't know if you saw that quickly but um, it was writing it in markdown so let's go ahead and copy that and let's open my drive here and create a new google doc and let's just paste it in okay so we paste it in this table does not look good all right, so I'm just going to do Control A to highlight this and delete it. Now, um, there's a couple things. So one, if I go to, uh, let's see, Tools and Preferences, I want to make sure I have this checked to enable Markdown. So I have a check. So first thing, check that, because if you don't have this checked, you won't be able to do what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to cancel, go out of here. And I'm going to right click with my mouse and you can see I can paste from Markdown. So I'm going to click on that. And now my table comes across all nice and good. Now, let me show you one further because I'm going to go a little further in this video. And let's say we had some math equations uh, and we wanted to paste them into the document. So I'm just going to do control A to highlight and delete it out. Let's do another prompt here. And let me say, um, give me four logarithmic problems for Algebra 2 students to solve. And let's prompt that. Okay. That's going to take a moment. And then you'll see here this formatting here that it's giving me. This is Markdown, but it's also LaTeX. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in, uh, let's, let's right click, and we'll go paste from Markdown. But we notice these, um, these formulas don't come out great, okay? Uh, but what I can do is I can fix that. So I can do a, notice they're enclosed by brackets here. So I can do a Control H, and I'll search for the bracket, and uh, I'm going to replace it with two dollar signs here. Let me do a replace all, okay? And then I'm gonna do the closing bracket and also replace it with two dollar signs and do a replace all, okay? So these first th three equations here are surrounded by dollar signs, okay? Um, now this one here, let's see, sometimes you can do in line with one dollar sign. Let's see if that works, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my extensions. And this is an extension I installed called Auto LaTeX Equations. I'm going to click Start. And I'm going to, I can pick a few different things from the font size. Um, let me just stick with font size of 12. I'm going to render the equations. Okay, so that's going to take a moment. And look at this. All these equations rendered properly. This one did not. Uh, so let's de-render these equations, and they're going to go back to the way they were. Let's try this now with two dollar signs. I think i got got to get rid of these parentheses here. Okay, now let's render these equations again. That's going to take a moment. And this is all in real time. I'm not editing this. Taking its time. All 
Okay, here we go. So that did take a little bit of a while, but now you see it did render pretty nicely. I might break this down to the next line, which I can de-render here. So let's de-render here. And to move this down to the next line, I just do two slashes here, and then I would do actually two slashes here. Let's render again. Ah, uh, that didn't quite work. So another thing I could de-render. You want to play with this a little bit. Um, you know, and I would just basically move this down here. And let's move this down here. Backspace that. Let's try this. Let's render this equation. Okay, so now, now it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, we've got a problem of five here. We just want to backspace out of that, but we've got this equation rendering pretty nicely. And I can close this out, and now I could download this as a PDF, and it would be formatted with these nice math equations. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. Uh, this is how to basically paste Markdown into a Google Doc and then render any LaTeX equations. If it was helpful, give a like and maybe share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.